So one of the most common queries we've had over time is what settings do I use for my Geeks Toy software for Betfair? So in this video, I'm gonna do three things quite important. First of all, I'm gonna share the settings that I have on my ladders, um, streaming charts, etc. Secondly, I'm gonna provide a link for the profile that we use on screen in the description down below. So you'll be able to install that for your own purposes. Afterwards, we'll also show you how to install that. It takes a matter of seconds. And then lastly, I'm gonna give away 10 three month subscriptions to the Geeks Toy software for existing users and new users. So it doesn't matter if you're already using the software. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do all three of those in this video. Assuming that sounds good, think it'll be useful. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and let's get on with it. So first and foremost, how can you be in with a chance of winning one of these free software subscriptions? All you need to do is watch this video in full leave a comment at the end below and be subscribed to the channel. That's it, we'll do the rest. That will allow me to identify you as somebody who's watched this video and understood it. And I will reply to the winners at random next week. So look out for that reply where you will just need to supply your client ID, which is available in the header bar of your Geeks Toys software. We can then credit that three months to you automatically. Now, next up, my Geeks Toys software settings as we'll go through them on screen. First of all, that client ID that I just mentioned, you can find it there in the header bar. So why do you need to have custom settings on your software? And also I think this is probably the biggest USP that Geek's Toy has because it's the most customizable software out there. The answer is simple. You can fit the software to the situation that you need in order to trade. So it's, it's more relevant and you, know, you have the information you need on the screen in a way that you need so that you can be most effective. Best way to highlight that is to show you um, the default profiles within the software. So if I open up, say, the 1230 at Lingfield here, okay, we've got our ladders. This is my current pre-race profile. But if I was to change this to the standard layouts, which is in the ladder menu there, um, and we go to the Geek, that would be an ideal profile for if you were trading horses in running because it gives you full market depth. You don't have to faff around, you haven't got to scroll up and down. You're gonna be able to see everything on the screen. You can have obviously a lot more runners, horse races, lots of horses in it. So that would be quite useful for in-play trading versus if we were to load up the uh, profile one, which is the one we're gonna use in this video, that would be a pre-race profile. Obviously, we haven't got as much market depth. We've got some more information along the bottom with Betfair charts, streaming charts, market overview, etc., etc. So I'm not gonna go through absolutely everything in terms of settings here because there are so many different options inside this software, I could quite literally get lost with it. What I'm gonna do is leave a link in the description down below for people that wanna understand the basic stuff and use the uh, user manual to find those different elements. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you some streaming charts and everything information how I have it set on screen. So looking at the market uh, overview to the left here, it's a very important one. If you can't find that, the way to find it and activate that, you need to right click on the market navigator, show hide, and it's in there. So I can turn it off or I can turn it back on, okay? Market overview allows us to compare all the different horses against each other, which is obviously a very useful tool. Uh, once that comes up, you've got a chart similar to this. Now it may be very looking very different and that'll be due to the color schemes that are used. But if you right click on any of the features within the software, that's generally how you change the settings for that particular feature. So here we've obviously got a legend, location, a few basic stuff so you can change the layout, how it looks, the colors. But the important stuff is chart range and sample rate. So the chart range that I've got this set to is 300, which is 300 seconds, which is obviously five minutes. Uh, that gives us a good segment of time to compare the information on screen against each other. Um, and the rate at which it updates the sample rate is set to 0.33 seconds. Now I could have it, sometimes I had it at 0.25 in the past. Um, I wouldn't really want it any slower than 0.33 because I want the information to be updating at real time uh, in line with what's actually happening. So that's the market navigator. You can change the way it looks with the color schemes, um, stuff like this down here. Obviously I've got it set to uh, night, I believe it is. Yeah, so that's the market overview. That is an important chart. That's the main um, settings for that one. Beyond that, we're gonna go on to the actual ladder here. There are a few different points that I wanna make here. First of all, the bars, okay? The traded volume bars, I've got them along the top in the chart and I've got traded volume bars down the side. So it's a set chain of traded volume bars on the side. You go traded, right click the ladder overview, traded volume, bars okay from there you can also change under visual options i believe it is the last traded bar history which is down there so 40 seconds the last 40 seconds 
shows the darker colors, which you may see when a bet drops in in just a second. So bars are very important. Then I've got streaming charts up the top here, which shows me trading volumes. That's that dark green that I was just talking about there. And then I've got the Betfair charts along the bottom. So let's go through those one by one. If I was to right click on the streaming charts up here, again, much like the market overview um, menu, it gives you those. So the chart range I've got set to 10 seconds. Now, why have I got it set to 10 seconds? Because when I'm pre-race trading, a large bet falls into the marketplace. You know, it jolts things. It, it, when one goes down, something else has to go up. I can see quite clearly when the money has fallen in recently. Having it over the space of five minutes just wouldn't interest me for what I'm actually doing. That might be different if you're um, doing a different style of trading or betting or you have a different point of focus, as I said earlier on. So sample rate, um, I have down at 0.75. Again, I could have that faster, um, but reality is all I'm really interested in seeing is has a large chunk fallen in in the last 10 seconds or so which could potentially change the current situation in a big way. Also colour schemes, background chart, these are all very um, visual things that you can change within these software. Um, you can also add in splitters which is quite important um, so we can add a splitter in here just to show you. So I've done that uh, horizontally. Let's change that to, sorry bear with me. Vertical. There we go. So you can you can split it as many times as you like, really. Um, but I don't want all that information on the screen, so I'm going to take that splitter back out. Nice and easy. So that is the market overview streaming charts. Then down the bottom here, we've got the Betfair charts. You'll see them on the website. There's very little you can actually change with these. You can change the auto refresh, so you can say, look, update this faster. But I have that set to 30 seconds. Again, that's more of a, a longer term chart that you want to look at and, and build an opinion over a period of time with potentially. So that is the broad settings for the most important things that I use inside the ladder interface. Although there is, you know, there's a whole multitude of menus here. Like I said, we'll leave a link to the user manual down below. But now we'll move on to how you can download this particular profile um, and install it on your machine. So it's very simple. It works like this. When you have a profile set up on this software, um, and you can adapt one of the default ones if you like. If you right click on the market navigator, there's three menus, there's three menu options that are important. There's open settings folder, load custom profile, save custom profile. So right now, I'm just gonna save this custom profile as profile one, okay? It says, do I wanna overwrite it? Yes, so we know that that's the most recent um, iteration of this profile. Let's just close this window down. Okay, now I want to extract that profile so that you guys can download it, which is what will be available on the link below. Uh, so I'll open settings folder and you'll see that it shows all the different profiles that I've already got preset and saved. Now I've got them preset differently because as I said in the intro, different reasons, different setups, you want to set up in different ways. So I've got all of these here, but I'm going to take profile one, I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to paste that on my desktop, okay? That is what will be inside the zip file that you're able to download um, on the link. Once you've got that, you just need to install that, which is to pretty much do the same in reverse with a slight difference. Um, the difference being open the settings folder, okay, and obviously it won't be, you won't have any of these folders there. So you'll cut and paste this into your folder to install it. But what you will notice is at the same time, replace, I'll replace it because it's already there. What you'll notice at the same time is that that will not instantly appear in your load custom profile menu. So what you'll need to do is log out of the Geek's Toy software, reboot the software and log back in, and then it should be there under the load menu whereby you just go and select load. Um, and then that's the profile loaded, okay? So if we open up that market again, what was it, 1230 Lingfield? You'll see once more, and it looks like the price has dipped against us there. Uh, I'm have to deal with that. But the, uh, the long and short of it is it's now installed and you're now able to use that profile in line with how I would. Now, one thing to say on this, because not everybody's got the same screen size as me. Obviously, I've got very large screens here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the profile smaller and put it in the center of the screen, okay, for download purposes. So you can use these little, bits in the corner to make it smaller, okay? And I'm gonna put all of this in the center of the screen, which may seem a bit bizarre, right? But it's not because when you install it on your machine, you'll want the profile to be in the middle. If you're using a far smaller screen, it won't go off the edges, okay? So I'm gonna save that as profile one. And that is what you will see when you download 
and install the software. You just need to then rearrange it on screen for yourself. Nice and simple, set in shared, link below. Don't forget, if you wanna be with a chance of winning a three month subscription, then you know, having watched this video, leave a comment down below for us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and tap the thumbs up button before watching another video where I actually use these profiles for a bit of better trading in the end screen.